Dunk. Yeah, Dunk, yeah. And uh, where are you from? Uh, Long Crest, Philadelphia. Okay. How old are you? 37. 37. And uh, you growing up, you grew up in a single parent home, two parent home? Nah, both my parents. Both parents? Yeah. yeah. Alright, you have siblings also? Yeah, 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 sister. Okay. Older or younger than you? Younger. Alright. Um, did you uh, finish high school? Yes. Okay. You play any sports or have any special talents or hobbies or anything when you were younger? Yeah, basketball, football. I was basically athletic. Athlete. athletic yeah. Okay. What was your favorite sport? Uh, I, lo I, lo I love football. Yeah. But I was more better at baseball. So okay. My best sport. Yeah, got you. Um, how was your childhood growing up? Did you have to deal with any trauma, anything like that in the house? Not really. I mean, no. you know, my parents were as good as parents as could be, you know. My dad's been awesome to uh, awesome, you know. Yeah. Greatest parents ever, you know. My dad's multi millionaire, you know. Right. Got, uh, Do you still have contact with him? Yeah. Okay. When's the last time you spoke with him? Uh, a couple months ago. How does does this put a strain on your on your relationship with your father? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But he's always been supportive of uh, supportive of me. Okay. He always wanted me to do better, obviously. You yeah, know, I had of course. Nice today. You know, I had some time sober, and you know, I know what it's about. You know, I've been at it for a while. I know what this is about too, you know. And uh, taking magnetic, magnetic field is cool shit, you know. It's Hell hard, yeah. It's hard not to, uh, it's hard to explain. To indulge, absolutely. I, I'm a, I'm an addict also. I got, uh, next month I'll have five years. Congratulations. And thank you, brother. Yeah, awesome. And it wasn't easy, but it's so worth it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got nothing. Um, at what age did you start using? Shit, man. I, I, Maybe. Very early on. I mean, I wasn't. I was using like weed and, and doing all the baby drugs. Just the sort of social stuff with but, your like, friends. I was big with the ecstasy when the ecstasy was out. And I was okay. Big with the acid, we did a lot of acid, a lot of ecstasy. Okay. Drank. It was a big time alcohol for a while. Uh, what do you? So alcohol was your first vice when it comes to drugs. Probably. You figure? Okay. And um, at what? At what point in your life did? Heroin or fentanyl become an issue? Well, I guess it was like about, you know, I was about 18, 19. All right. Was there anything specific that drove you? I mean, just like the, the environment I was in. I was in, I know it's crazy, Cinnamonton, New Jersey, but like, that's like, Cinnamonton was like a really big when it came to uh, heroin. You know? Okay. Everyone, there's basically a bunch of rich kids living right next door to uh, Camden. Yep. Going to cop you know, you know, with their parents' money. And, uh, you know, it was like, you know, everybody did it. was bored, boring. So all we really did was get high and get drunk. And, you know, yeah. Parties. That's me. Okay. Make exciting, basically. How long have you been out here in Kensington? Uh, a <laughs> long time. About 15, somewhere. Oh, wow. Um, and do you stay on the street now? Yeah, at times. I, I, stay, I stay with random friends. I have a lot of, a lot of friends. Being okay. out as long as I have, I pretty much know everybody and everybody knows me. Okay. You know. So where did you sleep last night? Where did I sleep last night? Uh, funny story, I, I was supposed to go to Fish Street with, with my girl and then I uh, got called up and just left at uh, 69th Street. So I just passed out there for a while. Uh, called the yell back early yeah. as shit so I you know, didn't have to miss anything. Okay. Did Worked out good. <laughs> um, so I see your arms, you have yeah, abscesses. How yeah, long has bad. that wow. been happening? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been on this run for like almost two years. Okay, and explain to me how that started. It started out as a little bubble, man. Progressed, you know. Uh, okay. I guess I missed at times, and I guess I, like, you know. Didn't. Yeah. My doctor told me it's basically a bacterial disease. He said basically you're putting all a bunch of shit in yep. the drugs today, like you know, meat, meat separator. Or something yeah. Like about and the like, trank and yeah, all that, and everything else. Is it painful at all? I mean, surprisingly, I can. I have an insane retarded, retarded freaking threshold of pain. Like, okay. And, you know, you hear people bitching and moaning all the time about it, but you really don't hear me bitching about it too much. No, nah, not really. It doesn't hurt me. It's okay, good. Much. Have you been to the doctor at all yeah, recently? Yeah. I've When's the last time you went? 
Well, I've been to um, Jefferson. I went to Jefferson and stayed there for, I did like a skin graft in my, in, on my arm. Uh -huh. And like I was keep, trying to keep it clean out here, it's hard, and trying to keep it, you know. Absolutely. And all this other shit, it's hard. And, uh, you know, keep it up with just the same, like, like keeping up with bandages, getting bandages, getting all the shit. So and, you uh, find it hard, it's, it's not the easiest thing to get the medical supplies that you need? Uh, it is it is kind of easy, but like you know, I have I have to be. More, yeah, sometimes we make it hard. Yeah, it's more of me making it hard. Like I could go to Prevention Point and get that. Yeah. Pretty much any time I want, whenever I need it. So okay. it's there. I just got to be more more. Um, on top of your shit. Yeah, more on top of it. And I have been lately. I've been doing a really good job of keeping uh -huh. me clean and, and doing what I got to do. Just recently, and uh, I actually started I started acting up. So I've been starting to fucking get. Had a little rough couple of nights, you know. So, right. what what made those nights rougher than the mo than uh, the rest? It's just like you know, just getting high is what we do out here. And some nights you just get too whacked to even do anything really, and then some nights yeah. you just fucking. Have you uh, been the victim of any violence or anything out here like that? I mean, yeah, yeah. I've been jumped several times. I've been stabbed. I've been shot. What type of situations that that brought that um, on? Both of them were fights. Okay. You know, I was drunk the one time, really drunk, and the other time I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I got stabbed, I was drunk. But, you know, it's just, just stupid arguments. You know? Yeah, it's the nature of the beast down here, right? Yeah, you gotta get used to dumb shit, you know. Yeah. It's getting a lot dumber out here lately yeah. than it was back in my day when I first came around this bitch. Yeah. When, when there was fucking Do you, uh, and, oh, sorry. And all that shit going on around here. Yeah. You know? A lot more peaceful. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Nah, that's good. Nah? All right. Well, I thank you very much, brother. Right. I appreciate you um, yeah, I appreciate taking a couple minutes to uh, talk with us. Thank you. Why, thank you. I'll send you later, huh? I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, be safe, all right, brother? Yeah.